part of our seven minimum uh, reforms include uh, the last reform that we talk about is power transfer. We believe that that reform must be in the constitution. Like any other jurisdiction in the African continent and the world, there must be a clear stipulated provision in the constitution that defines the role of the winner, the role of the winner, and the role of the loser. Because we think that if it's in the constitution, there is no ambiguity, there must be clarity around transfer of power, and that's a critical reform that we are going to be pushing as the citizens coalition for change so that there is clarity in terms of does what, what is the role of the judiciary, at what stage shall, shall the swearing in happen, and all the other process that happen after the transfer of power. So we are very, very critical about that. We think that it must be a critical minimum reform that we think must be resolved and be put uh, in the supreme law of the lab so that there is no ambiguity. Thank you. Uh, to have meetings with them on the deepening and increased political crisis and of course the question of reform which we think is at the center of Zimbabwe's vicious disputed election that have been uh, visiting this country since uh, 1980. We of course uh, also call to Zimbabweans and young people in particular to continuously uh, accept this call to register to vote because we believe that at the center of the Zimbabwean legitimacy problem is elections and we need participatory uh, engagement with our people in terms of uh, making sure that we resolve uh, the crisis in Zimbabwe as we had it and enter into the shadows of the next election. We also want to thank, um, as I'm concluding, we want to thank uh, Zimbabweans who have continued to show support against difficulties. You know that we went to a by-election after the assault to the pro-democracy movement, but we continue to exist. We came in new form and character and launched a new vehicle that has uh, swiped and uh, been present across the land and breadth of our country. And we want to salute and thank Zimbabweans who have stood firm against clearly state-sponsored violence against the brutality. We want to thank ordinary people, members of the Citizens Coalition for Change, who have remained vigilant in the face of authoritarian consolidation and, of course, authoritarian tutelage in the democratic platform in our country. Fellow members of the media, fellow Zimbabweans, this is our press brief.